Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing our Black Templar run with Helbrecht and the Emperor's Champion, or a very old version of the Emperor's Champion. Now I've already gone on and cleaned them from the textured primer that was on them. I also then reprimed them and removed their bases and gave them a 32mm base that's drying in the corner. And so with Iron Hand Steel, Nuln Oil, and Abaddon Black, we're going to be painting their armor. So I'm going to start off with a base layer of Iron Hand Steel all throughout. And then with a one-to-one -one mix of Nuln Oil, Abaddon Black, which was a bit too light, but I applied this all over the metal. And then once that was done, I basically, I didn't show this, but I applied a second one directly onto the armor, not onto the chains and other metal pieces like their guns and stuff. And then I went back with Iron Hand Steel and carefully dry brushed, focusing on the edges and folds or plates of the armor. Now, you're going to see a lot of stuff happen with Ulthwan Grey, Pallid Witchflesh, Corn Red, Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, and Troll Slayer Orange. We're going to paint the robes. So I'm going to keep on with, uh, essentially, in the commission, I'm going to try to keep everything same old or uniform. And so we're going to start off with making the insides of the robes uh, white. And I do believe the Emperor's Champion's overall a whitish robe. So we start off with Ulthwan Grey on the insides of the robes. And then we will highlight that with Pallid Witch Flesh. And while I'm at it, I'll also do their shoulder pads in the same way. Ulthwan Grey base and then Pallid Witch Flesh for the highlight. And then once that's done, I'm going to paint the outside of Helbrecht's robe in red. Layer the whole outside with Corn Red. Then I'm going to highlight 90-95% to 95 of it with Mephiston Red. And then I'm going to highlight the edges, folds, and most raised areas with Evil Sun Scarlet, maybe 50 to 60 some percent. And then finally, like around 10 to 15 percent, only the most raised areas, folds, and stuff, straight lines with Troll Slayer Orange to highlight the most prominent folds on his uh, robe. Now with Steel Legion Drab, Baneblade Brown, and Rakroth Flesh, we're going to paint the Purity Seals, because there is a lot. Mostly on Hellbrecht. There's like one or 
two maybe on the Emperor's Champion. And so Steel Legion Drab is the base coat. And then we're going to go to Bane Blade Brown. Make sure this is watered down a bit. And so we're going to apply it on all the edges and the fold lines and the most upper raised areas throughout. We're covering like maybe 80, maybe 90% in some cases with Bane Blade Brown. And then we take Rykroth's Flesh and paint the edges and the folds, painting maybe like 30% at most of the purity seal. And now with Brass Scorpion, Retributor Armor, Liberator Gold, and Iron Breaker, we're going to do the metals specifically. So with Brass Scorpion, which is a dark reddish metal, we're going to paint this on all the parts that are going to be brass, just all over as our base coat. And then we're going to go with Retributor Armor, and we're going to cover our 80 to 90 percent of the Brass Scorpion in this. Uh, just the deepest, darkest recesses will still have the Brass Scorpion. And then with Liberator Gold, we're painting 30 to 50% of all our gold with this. The edges, the uh, most raised areas, stuff like that. This is basically a highlight. And then finally with Iron Breaker, we're going to do something a bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to use this as our highlight painting maybe like 5 to 10% of all the brass. And on the most raised areas, edges and folds of whatever piece of metal we're painting. But we're also going to use this to highlight our chains our uh, edges and folds of the armor, armor plates, stuff like that, as well as their guns, uh, their blades as well, dry brushing onto the blades to give them like a bit of spec and stuff here and there. Uh, we're going to do a lot with the iron breaker, mm -hmm. but overall just have fun with it. And then with Ab Abaddon Black, we're going to be painting the Templar symbol on the shoulder pad. With a solid black coat, it'll stand out from their black metallic armor. And then with Mornfang Brown and Agrax Earthshade, we are going to paint uh, the leather. So we're going to paint the leather belt that uh, Helbrecht has, and we're going to paint the gun holster that the Emperor's Champion has. So we'll start off with a base layer of Mornfang Brown, and then we were going to apply Agrax Earthshade on top. And then what we're going to do is this back and forth of highlighting with a fine brush the leather with Mornfang Brown, then add another thing of Agrax Earthshade, and then we're going to do more Mornfang Brown, and it's like a back and forth. So basically all in all, three layers of Mornfang and two layers of Agrax Earthshade, just around there for these highlights and such, and it builds up a nice gradient of color. And now with Gulliman Flesh and Skeleton Horde Contrast Paints, we're going to do some weathering onto the gun barrels and the exhaust ports on their backpacks. We'll start with Skeleton Horde Contrast, overall surrounding most of the gun barrel and most of the area of their exhaust ports as a yellower. And then we're going to put like a dot of Gulliman Flesh into the exhaust ports and as well as just like the last third of the gun barrel to show wear and tear. Alright, with Ushtabi Bone and Skeleton Horde Contrast, we are going to paint these little skulls that are on Helbrecht's shoulder. Now I start off with the base layer of Ushtabi Bone, and then I go straight with pure Skeleton Horde Contrast, and that looks pretty bad. And I try to highlight it with Hushtabi Bone, but it's the Skeleton Horde Contrast is such a bad mix, and as well as these skulls, 
have been primed so much and stuff like that that they look more like inflated pumpkins sort of and so it's really hard to get the details out so uh, I just don't do a good job with the skull so redo so how I redo it is I just well paint them all Ushtabi bone again and then I take a one-to-one -one mix of skeleton horde contrast and Lamian medium and then I just apply two coats and it highlights well enough on its own that way this is the best I can do I mean I'm working with some damaged models so all right with Dark Reaper and Dawnstone we're gonna paint the like glass panels inside these little lanterns that they have Dark Reaper has a base I'm just gonna put dot 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 into it to fill it in without ruining any of the silver and then I will apply a bit of Dawnstone in as a highlight in And now with Kisla Flesh, Agrax Earthshade, and Lamian Medium, we're going to paint Helbrek's face. Uh, there are some issues with it though. So I start off with Kisla Flesh, and then I apply a one to one mix of Agrax Earthshade and Lamian Medium over it. And then when that dries, I highlight with Kisla Flesh, and then I reapply the wash, and then I highlight again. And so the overall problem is that his facial features have been really ruined, and so eh, I would like to have done better, but kind of can't. I don't have a sub a sonic cleaner and I'm not buying one just for this uh, for a single commission because I always start off with good fine models so this is more of an oddity and I did my best to remove the bad primer from the start. At least at the very worst you can still see uh, his most prominent facial features, his high cheekbones, his nose, and his very unhappy face. Now with Caliban Green, Castellan Green, and Strachan Green, we're going to paint the... I don't remember what... I know what it is, but I don't remember what it's called. It's on the top of the Emperor's Champion's head. We start off with a base layer of Caliban Green, then we coat like 90% of it in Castellan Green, and then we highlight the most raised, most prominent areas with a straight line of Strachan Green. And then with AK Interactive Ultra Matte Varnish and the Army Painter War Paints Anti Shine Matte Varnish, we're going to seal the models. So with the AK Interactive Ultra Matte, we're going to paint this on all non metallics skin, robes, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, and the purity seals. And then with the Anti Shine Matte Varnish, we're going to apply this onto the metal pieces that is most likely going to be grabbed the Emperor's Champion Sword, the backpacks, uh, basically where you would grab it mm -hmm. and this will seal it in and if you've also noticed we applied them onto their bases and done eh. well <laughs> I feel like I'm in a tough spot because it's like I want to be able to do better, do more, but the quality of the models don't really allow me to push uh, the envelope. And well, I mean, I so I kept in line with the standard set or the color scheme for the army. And for some reason, I did not look up Helbrek online and found out afterwards that he has gold armor, which I could have totally done. Ugh screwed that up but the client was happy with it well I had to make a few changes after the fact like glowing blue swords but eh, so so uh, apart from that um, I made the most of what I could do I like the red rope I do like that but eh. I mean I just knocked them out they were very relatively simple models uh, I could only do oh so much because of predetermined damage. I don't own a subsonic cleaner. Uh, a bit sad, but well, I mean they're done, and they're up as best as I can do with this quality of model. Uh, I, I need to get onto some other stuff. I feel like my painting skills are beginning to die. <laughs> well, 
Anyway, like the video if you like the video, share it if you want to share it, comment if you want to comment, and more to come. And it won't be Black Templar. I have to take a small break from that. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Bye.